Hi, I'm Jeffrey Antonelli of Antonelli Law. So if you found this video, and I'm glad you did, um, you've been looking for information about this movie company you've never heard of called Strike Three Holdings and a legal device called a motion to quash a subpoena. And you either um, have found yourself dealing with a lawsuit filed in this weird state court in Florida called Miami-Dade County and um, a, a, a law called the Pure Bill of Discovery or you are subject to a federal lawsuit in federal court in the state in which you live. Um, it's very important that you um, make some decisions before your name is released. And it's very important that you find a lawyer that's not only experienced, but that you feel comfortable with and uh, feel you can trust. Um, it's important to do this because uh, copyright infringement lawsuits can be very dangerous and if not handled well, um, like many other lawsuits, um, uh, things can turn out rather badly. On the other hand, um, you know, you can be protected and uh, make some decisions that would be very helpful to you. Um, so if you've gotten a, a notification uh, that a subpoena was received by your internet company to release your name, uh, or maybe the name of a family member, uh, or perhaps your roommate, you need to make uh, some decisions as to whether or not uh, you're going to be uh, defending the lawsuit in court or if you want to perhaps try to negotiate an amicable resolution outside of court. Um, and those decisions uh, generally should be made before your name is released. Um, if you fail to do that and your name is released, um, you could be served with a summons. Now, that's usually for lawyers like me traditionally, um, that's the beginning of when we get involved is once you're served with a lawsuit summons. Um, then you typically file an appearance in court on behalf of your client and file either uh, an, an, an answer with general uh, denials or perhaps a motion to dismiss to try to get the court uh, uh, case thrown out. Um, but in these um, BitTorrent copyright infringement lawsuits, most of the action takes place before anybody is ever served. Uh, to put some context into this, um, with probably well over 10,000 federal lawsuits filed uh, in the last 10 years or so by many movie companies. I can think of only one case ever that's gone to trial in the whole country. Um, while it's true that maybe 99% of all cases uh, settle at some point, it's not true that if you name any other area of law, in 10 years only one case has gone to trial. Um, in, in the scope of BitTorrent copyright, uh, copyright lawsuits, um, only one has gone to an actual trial. There's been motions for summary judgment where there's been evidentiary hearings and a, a judgment has been entered one way or the other, either in favor of the movie company or in favor of the defendant, but um, not an actual trial. Um, so backing up, uh, prior to you being served, and hopefully you never will be, uh, in part perhaps because you're watching this this video um, you need to make some decisions and sometimes the decision is to try to negotiate a settlement um, sometimes it might be to determine that uh, the person who may have done it is underage and the parents in general uh, again this is not legal advice but legal information and that the literature strongly suggests that there is no parental liability now that's speaking very broadly and there may be exceptions and so again uh, you'll have to tell to an attorney for your specific facts to make this determination but um, you know uh, if that's the case you may uh, want to have a lawyer reach out to uh, counsel for strike through holdings and uh, and inform them that um, there are circumstances where um, even if you know who did it that there's no legal liability and the case should go away um, other times, uh, you may find out who actually did it and that person has left the country uh, or perhaps there's been a family separation or uh, some other circumstance. Um, these things, again, uh, to try to minimize little legal cost and, and disruption to your life uh, should be handled uh, as soon as possible and preferably prior to being served with a summons. Um, so I've talked to you briefly about motions to quash and I've mentioned that if you uh, have a summons, you should never ignore that and, 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 and definitely you want to try to make your uh, decisions known prior to being served with the summons. Um, and I hope this information has been helpful.